Good morning guys, so I'm not really feeling that great, which is why yesterday's vlog isn't up, but obviously by the time you watch this, I don't know why I bother saying this, but by the time you watch this, it'll be up obviously, but at this point in time, I'm just so tired that I just don't have the energy to do it. I really don't know what's going on, um, but I have made a doctor's appointment for tomorrow. If I mean, I can always cancel it if I'm feeling better, but I'm still getting those really sharp stabbing pains, which is not normal for me. Not... I mean, I finished my antibiotics yesterday. I took the last dose, and I was only meant to take them for five days, but she told me to just take them till like there's no more. So it actually ended up being six days or something like that, or a bit longer. I don't know. Can't remember. It might even be a week. I don't know. You guys tell me how long since I got them in whatever vlog it was. Um, so there's that, and then this just this fatigue. Like it's just ridiculous. Don't know if it's like a flare of my chronic fatigue because I don't really get i haven't really like, i've been in remission for ages with my chronic fatigue syndrome like that hasn't bothered me that much it's every now and then i get little flares but this doesn't feel like that i don't know i can't explain it so i think maybe something might be off i don't know usually when i get like this there is so i might i think, might, I think it's worth checking my bloods and urine again anyway um because if there is something i'd rather ch treat it now in case it gets worse like we don't know what it is so just, I'm going with my gut feeling. That's always. I feel like that's always the way to go when you when you're chronically ill. I mean, you know your body better than anyone else. At the end of the day. Um, so today, I just need to ring and order some more feed supplies and stuff like that. I'm gonna do that now, and then we're gonna go pick up my meds that I was said I was gonna do yesterday, but we didn't because they weren't ready. I literally just came home and slept. Um, and then I think we need to go shops because we need to get like a sticky roller and stuff like that. So that's the plan for today. Ready? Ready. You ready, baby? Kissy. Mwah. Bye now. Just to let you guys know, I just changed my top because I went outside and it was it was raining, which is why I had the longest sleeve. Or it was long sleeve, but it came off the shoulders. Turns out it's bloody like sticky, like so sticky out there, like so humid. So I was like, you know what? I can't change change my jeans now. It will just be too like. You know, when, you know what it's like when you, it's like humid and you're trying to get jeans on and off, just no. So I was like, oh, it's like when you get out of a swimming pool and then you try and get dressed, like, it's just impossible. So I was like, you know what, the jeans are going to have to stay, but I've changed my top to this, like, white one. You guys have seen it before, so that's what I'm wearing today. Um, I almost forgot to ring the feed place, so I'm going to have to do that now before I forget. Um, anyway, yeah, we're actually going now. Tom's just speaking to um, one of the job people or person who works for the company that he's been... Um, trying to get this job with, which is like we've. Like, I just feel like they're really messing him around at the moment. Like he's gone for like five interviews. I'm not even joking. Like the first one was the interview. Then he had to do this presentation thing. That was the second thing. Then he had like a meeting with this guy, like the CEO. And then he had a meeting with this other guy. And then he went again to. Oh, I can't even remember. Oh no, it was four times. He's been not five. Yeah. So there's that. But he's been to two other job interviews since then because he's like, if they offer me more money. I'm gonna, I might even get it before we even get this one kind of thing and then I can ask them, you know, either match that or, you know, or improve it kind of thing. So, anyway, he's just, he rang them, he's just rang them then and he's basically saying like, look, I'm sick of being messed around, what's happening? So, hopefully we can get an answer on what the situation is. Are you finished? Yeah. What did they say? It's been offered it. You have? Yeah. <gasps> Yay! He said they were going to send over Congratulations! An and then either today or tomorrow. Ooh. Hopefully by the end of today. Are you excited? Yeah. <laughs> Look at him! Was it worth being messed around? I was literally... <laughs> <laughs> I was literally just saying how messed around we've been. No, you can't put it in. Why? What if they find it? I'm going to find it. They might do. Once he, once, they can't just say, oh sorry, we watched your girlfriend's video and now we're not giving you the job. I'm a nobody. It's fine. <laughs> I'm gonna edit my vlog, guys, and sh this little one keeps demanding attention. Can I edit my vlog now? No, that's my hard drive. Can I edit my vlog now? <laughs> no, that's the hard drive. <laughs> oh, look at that face. I know, I know. 
Yeah. Hey guys, so I just wanted to sit down with you and have a bit of a real talk just for a second. Um, so basically yesterday I talked about possibly doing IV saline to help with my pots and my dehydration because I can never get in my full amount of fluids that I need a day. Um, even with my feet, like, I'm barely meeting the minimum amount that I need. Um, and I know some of you don't agree with that method of treatment, but it's something that, you know, I've got to weigh up my options and what I think is best for my health, you know. Um, so for example, some of the medications that I'm on are pretty dangerous long term. There's risks of things like organ failure and stuff like that with your kidneys, your liver, your heart, you know, all this, you know, um, like immune system problems. Um, and basically I, from my opinion, I personally think taking the risk of infection from a permanent line is something I would rather do over organ failure, even though I know things like sepsis can kill you. But I think with the proper care and, you know, as long as you keep it super, super sterile and you take really, really good care of it, I think the infection is low. It's when you do stupid things like don't take care of it or possibly go somewhere, you know, where you don't clean the site properly and things like that, I guess. And that's just my opinion at the end of the day. Um, but yeah, basically, I know some of you didn't agree on yesterday's vlog and you thought it was silly, but at the end of the day, I want the best quality of life. And if I think that that's going to improve my quality of life more, getting IV saline, then that, I think that's what I'm going to do. Um, because... I just feel like that's a better option for me than taking all these medications. Like, I'm on so many medications with such bad long-term side effects and the only option for me to try and get off them is go on IV, th IV saline therapy. And you guys gotta remember, I get like potassium infusions, iron infusions, all the other stuff as well. And every time I get an IV, it's just ruining my veins a little bit more. They're so difficult to get IVs in. So the possibility of getting a permanent line has already been discussed just for that. So if I'm gonna have the line anyway, I might as well get the, uh, the IV therapy. Um, and at this point in time, when if we decide to go ahead with this, nothing's in concrete yet, then that's my decision and I would really appreciate it. Um, if you guys would respect my de decision rather than trying to throw facts at me of what your opinion or what you think is right and what is wrong. Um, yeah, sorry, I just wanted to get real for a second and just say that because I feel pressured not to make the decisions I want to make because sometimes you guys don't agree with them. Um, but in my situation, um, currently, I just feel like that is a better option for me and I know lots of you out there are on IV like saline therapy for pots for other things for gastroparesis blah 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 and I know how much it's improved your lives and I just think you know that is my only option to get rid of some of the medications um and also you know I'm gonna feel a lot better if I'm more hydrated because being dehydrated all the time is not good it makes you feel rubbish it makes you weak it makes you know your kidneys struggle so I think that's the best option for me at the moment and that's probably what I'm going to go with but I just want to keep you know update you guys and let you know that that's you know if I you could just basically I just want you to respect my decisions I guess so yeah hey guys so I know it's a little bit of a change of scenery since I last vlogged as you can probably tell stuff has happened um I had a seizure and my potassium was super low and basically I'm just super exhausted so I'm just going to leave it, the update here and when I'm feeling better I will update again. We're hoping to try and get home tonight if possibly if we can persuade the doctors but I don't know whether that's going to happen now but we will see. They're trying to get some, literally it took about six attempts to try and get a cannula and then they were talked about going in my legs and stuff so I think, I mean we have two in, we've got this one and this one um, so yeah anyway i'll update you guys when i'm feeling better and things are more stable because we're in recess at the moment aren't we thomas mm -hmm. but i love you guys and thank you for the support so i know i said i would update more when i was more stable sorry i'm so shaky unfortunately that's not happening it's 3 a.m and we're still in recess i've had four bags of potassium and it's still really low and my heart is doing dodgy things. 
basically just things aren't good right now, guys. Um, hopefully we'll be going up to the ward soon. I am being admitted. And hopefully we can get out of here tomorrow, hopefully, with a bit of persuasion. I just, my, I always find that my recoveries are better in my own bed. And when I get to be at home, I can recover better than I can in hospital. But obviously we need to get my bloods more stable first. So that is number one priority. And then hopefully we'll get the other stuff sorted out at home that I can manage myself once everything's more stable. But for now, we're being admitted and we're gonna go to the ward, hopefully soon, when things calm down. <sighs> I hope you guys are okay.